Hello, my name is Sarah Armstrong and I'm a PhD student working jointly on a theory experiment collaboration with the Sachs and Packer labs at the University of Oxford. New optogenetic tools have been developed for manipulating the activity of functionally defined individual neurons in the mouse brain in vivo, with tight spatial and temporal precision. We want to know how exactly can we use these new experimental capabilities to distinguish and constrain theories of neural computation? So a variety of theories of sensory cortices have been proposed, but many of these make similar predictions for neural responses to sensory stimuli. It has been suggested that causal manipulations of neuronal activity in sensory cortex may provide a route to testing theories directly, but it's often unclear how exactly one would go about this. We need theory. In this work, we develop a theory of single neuron activity perturbations in linear recurrent firing rate networks. Our main innovation is to constrain the form of connectivity profiles to be reminiscent of tuning in many primary sensory domains. In particular, we assume that connectivity profiles repetitively tile the stimulus space, which we implement through circulant feed forward and recurrent weight matrices. Importantly, this setting still allows diverse possible tuning profiles, which express a range of theories of sensory processing. In this framework, we are able to solve directly for the effect of perturbations and derive specific experimental tests for different theories of cortex, such as efficient coding and predictive coding. We firstly demonstrate that perturbation responses depend only on recurrent tuning, while sensory evoked responses depend on a mixture of both feed forward and recurrent weights. To further motivate perturbations, we derive a space of linear networks with different blends of feed forward and recurrent tuning that respond identically at steady state to any sensory input. While sensory evoked responses could not disambiguate models in this space, perturbation influence functions, which are specifically diagnostic or recurrent connectivity, would. Furthermore, we show that the influence of a perturbation measured in neural population activity can be reversed to reconstruct the recurrent tuning curves. We next turn to how this general theory can be applied to test specific theories. We describe a recurrent efficient coding network that performs gradient descent on an input prediction objective through its firing rate dynamics. In order for this to happen, recurrent and feed forward tuning curves have to be related in a precise quantitative manner we show how perturbation responses should be predictive of sensory evoked responses and explain how perturbation and sensory evoked responses could be compared to quantitatively test this theory. We also later demonstrate that this analysis in linear networks extends to a nonlinear recurrent network doing sparse coding. We also look at predictive coding networks that have dynamically coupled subpopulations of prediction neurons and error neurons, and we describe a set of influence functions with precise quantitative interrelations. For more details, we would love you to come along to our poster number 3008 on Friday at the COSI meeting. Thank you for listening and enjoy the conference.